Hey YouTube, Shukun Shinobi here with a review of the SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider O's Shouta Combo. Finally, I know this is a long time coming, but a little backed up here, so deal with it. Uh, so box, pretty much typical uh, Shouta right here. Uh, nice blue lettering, which I really, really like. Shouta Combo, the logo. Typical stuff on the back. What we have come to know and expect. Uh, the figure itself is absolutely gorgeous. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look-see here. So here's Shauta, and um, all I can say is props to Bandai, because this is incredibly well done. All the joints, incredibly tight. Uh, nothing is so tight that you can't pose it, or so loose that it will fall out of the pose, or just dangles around. So, great job on that. Uh, the taco legs are really interesting to look at. Um... They actually kind of look like an octopus, if you use your imagination a little bit, but... Anywho, uh, stylized really good. Uh, they don't split apart or anything like that, but, uh, double joint still there. The feet are on a ball joint, plastic ball joint. Uh, I think Puto Tier is the only one that's gonna have, uh, metal feet besides Birth, but... Anywho. Lightning Bolt decor on the side. Shoulder pads, same as always. Articulation hindered none. And the helmet looks beautiful. I love this helmet. Uh, not my favorite helmet. Still goes to Taja Door. But um, beautifully crafted helmet for this figure. Absolutely beautiful. Yellow compound eyes. I like yellow compound eyes for some reason. Yellow just really seems to make everything pop. Oh, scanner down here. That's slightly falling off. There we go. And the back. So really, really nice job. I love this figure. There's the tribe symbol. Shach Unagi Taco. He has two whip holding hands. Two O scanner holding hands. I don't really know why, but I guess they just didn't know what else to give him, so they gave him two. And two relaxed hands. Move all these aside except for the whip holding hands because we're going to need those. And as far as the whips are concerned, he comes with quite a bit. He comes with two of the long attack whips, which uh, makes sense. Then you've got two uh, that hook onto his arm when uh, his arms are curved. And then two that hooked onto his arms when his arms are straight. So uh, just to demonstrate one of each. Uh, this just plugs right in up here. Just like that. And then this one plugs in right down here. That one's a little bit looser because it doesn't go in all the way. But just fiddle with it. So that's that one. But as you can see, if you start bending his arms, it goes really out of proportion. So they give you the ones that uh, that curve to uh, to better suit that. So uh, pre-curve his arm, huh, pre-curve. Then yeah, like this. Stick this one up top. This one down at the bottom, just like that. And uh, there you go. So you have one for his curved arm, one for his straight arm, depending on how you want to pose him. I'm not really going to worry about this because I'm going to pose him with the attack whips, so I don't particularly have anything to do with that. But it is nice that uh, since these aren't pliable, really, I mean, they're, they're soft rubber, so they are pliable, but uh, you can't custom pose them. So it's nice that even though you can't do that, they still included enough of the whips to uh, to not have it be a hindrance to... To anyone in particular. I would rather have seen wired ones, but that's nah, just me. So I'll pop off his hands if I can get them off. His gauntlets are pretty thick, so it's kind of hard to get a grasp on the hands. Who's in? I guess those are, I'm really used to hearing a snap, so... <laughs> Like that. Oh, 
Are those both in? I guess they are. Alright, so, uh, let's bring the camera down and get him in some sort of, some sort of pose. Uh, let's see. Is there any on the back that we can look at? Sure. Let's do that one in the middle there. So, sp splay the legs a tiny bit. Put one in here. And put one over here. Poor shout I just tipped them over. Right there. Splay this one across. Splay this one on a downward. Balance him out. And there is Shouta. Looking pretty damn awesome, I think. Is this the best OS figure art? Right now, I'm probably going to say yes. I like Taja Door more, just because Taja Door is my favorite combo. But in terms of accessory count, uh, articulate, not really articulation, that really didn't change, but stability, I guess we can say. Stability, quality control, I would definitely say this is probably the best one to date. Uh, lots of cool posing effects if you get a stand and then use the, uh, the various whips. Um, we could get an effects part down the line to have the spinning taco legs, maybe. Uh, but really, I mean, in terms of look and accessory count and stability, this is an excellent, excellent figure. If you like Shawata, don't pass this up. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um... I don't really have too much else to say, because I think Puto Tier is probably going to dethrone this guy in uh, a day when I get him in the mail, as of this recording. So, uh, I like him. I do, do recommend him. Probably the best O's figure to date. Uh, they really stepped it up once Sagozo was released, in terms of stability and awesomeness. So definitely recommended. Uh, you can check out Rent Review at RiseRangersAndRambles.com. And of course, uh, you can check out ShukanShubby.com for all the latest updates on my reviews. And uh, discuss everything at RR's The Ramboards at RiseRangersAndRambles.com. So take care. Have a great one. Bye.